will tell you that there's no alleging this at all. We have the documents. The documents, it, it is an event file, 221, section 221, 3B. Terrorism charges, hyphen, Boston Marathon bombing. That doesn't sound like somebody's alleging. That is what the government charged. It was then, the uh, two days later, erased. This Saudi national, who is definitely not anything but a Cub Scout from Saudi Arabia, by the way, he was here on a student visa, supposed to be in Findlay, Ohio, exclusive information from the Blaze, supposed to be in Findlay, Ohio. The press just didn't want to do any of their homework. They just somehow or another believed the government when the government said, no, he's just a good guy. No, I don't know anything about him. What? Stop looking at him, you racist. They didn't decide to look into him. We found out he was here on a visa, a student visa. He was supposed to be going to school in Findlay, Ohio. Why did he have an apartment not in Findlay, Ohio, but in Boston, Massachusetts? That seems like a hell of a commute, doesn't it? But nobody wants to look into it. Why would this government, now for the second time that we know of, why would they hide the connections to Saudi Arabia? The first time, George Bush did it. And it took three years for this story to get out, but I, I'm telling you, gang, we don't have three years this time. This is related to the Benghazi story as well. We do not survive if we continue to play this game and we allow the media and our government to play this game. And this is going to be damn near impossible to beat them on. But let me explain why it's happening. Al-Qaeda was a terrorist organization that the kingdom loved for a while, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Then they turned against the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. That's why they're in Yemen. Um, remember, uh, Osama bin Laden, his family was a big construction uh, uh, family. Loads, very wealthy, loads of money in Saudi Arabia. He left and left the country and really became the world's number one terrorist. But he was, if you remember right, he hated Saudi Arabia. Thus comes the United States of America to the aid of the Saudis. We used um, Osama bin Laden and um, Al-Qaeda to help destroy the Russians. And we learned a lot in that uh, conflict. We kind of liked that. But Saudi Arabia liked it too because, remember, that's their enemy. They don't want uh, Al-Qaeda in Saudi Arabia either. And so they like it if we're going after them. And so we've made an agreement. This is my speculation. We've made an agreement. All the terrorists, the really nasty, much worse than um, Al-Qaeda, Wahhabi. Wahhabism is really bad. Saudi Arabia is cool with that because they haven't turned on Saudi Arabia. So the Wahhabis are in Saudi Arabia and no one, don't you dare look into Wahhabism. What are you, a conspiracy theorist? Don't you dare look into somebody who talks about a caliphate with the Muslim Brotherhood. What are you, a conspiracy theorist? Because those, those guys are from Saudi Arabia. Now, people will say Saudi Arabia banned the Muslim Brotherhood. I got news for you. The House of Saud bans every political organization. The House of Saud has no competition. So yes, did they ban them? Yes, they ban everybody in Saudi Arabia. But Saudi Arabia keeps... Egypt banned them too. I know. Look what good that did. Uh, Saudi Arabia keeps Iran in check. It keeps Israel in place because that's our deal. We'll help you with Al-Qaeda, you help us there. This is why when someone says there's a caliphate, you're mocked and ridiculed. When anybody says there are Wahhabist schools in our country that are teaching Saudi Arabian Wahhabi principles and values which are deadly poison to us, you are immediately deemed a racist. And it's why the State Department protects those schools in places like Virginia. You cannot get any of the curriculum from a Saudi paid for Wahhabi school in our own country. Why? Because they're keeping the really nasty ones out of our country, we believe. 
We are the biggest dupes in the world. What's happening here is we are having um, we are having a cultural jihad happening in our own country. They have the Wahhabi schools. They have the caliphate. They have the Islamic jihadists here in our country, and we are not looking for them because our press is lazy or they're in bed with this administration. You notice they said a little bit last time around, but the progressives in the Republican Party shut everybody down on that. Now it's the progressives on the uh, on uh, the on both sides because they know and their hands are so covered in blood republicans and democrats their 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 hands are covered in blood when you find out the truth and i'm i'm asking you now do your own homework be very very careful do not go to conspiracy websites please just because they have some of this information doesn't mean all of the information is right we we are um we are being very careful because we know that if you get this one wrong it's just as bad as not knowing it at all it's extraordinarily dangerous information the press is lazy or in bed the power brokers in this country will tell you if you destabilize Saudi Arabia, then the energy thing, then the entire Middle East goes to hell in a handbasket. So you can convince the press through the Council of Foreign Relations, you can't destabilize this. This is the way it is and you got to leave it. The banks, if any bank was actually honest with you, the banks would tell you they sat at the table with, with Saudis and said, we need your help, we need your help, we need a, we need a bailout, we, we need you to help fund us, please, because we're about to go on. And uh, the Saudis changing their sunglasses every 10 minutes said, well, I, I maybe I can help you. You crazy person. And I mean the banks, what are we doing getting into bed with those guys? Saudis are on, on our investments. Saudis are on the board of our directors all over the country. And when they don't infiltrate that way, they infiltrate through care and the Muslim Brotherhood. And that's the way it works. And if they'll in, in first they'll, they'll cozy up, they'll bribe, they will help with money when you really need money. Of course, I'm going to need some things for you. They'll make the, oh, the really important oil thing. We don't need your oil. They'll get onto the board of directors and say, hey, guys, you know me. I'm very reasonable. And if that doesn't work, they'll take care in the Muslim Brotherhood and they will bully the crap out of you. That's what's happening. Now, why is this important for you? Because every time there is a terrorist strike, more restrictions go on you. And they get no more. Nobody's looking at the Wahhabi schools. Nobody is looking for the Saudi connections to this. We're now looking at Chechens. They were involved. But who trained them? Why is the Saudi on the plane if he's not gone already? As they're talking about regulating your gunpowder now. And your guns. While they are taking this Chechen, who is no longer a Chechen, but an American citizen, and they're saying, we're not going to Mirandize you, while they're violating those rights, they are setting a precedent. This isn't about his rights, this is about your right. They are setting the precedent that we did it with him. What makes you so, so special and so unique? There is growing power every day that goes by. More restrictions on you less on them growing power for care and the muslim brotherhood dallas dallas texas the vice president of pay of care from texas just went over and is now running the muslim brotherhood and i'm sorry to be so frank terrorist organization in syria but we won't say anything about that because we've deemed that a freedom fighting organization Mm. Are they wearing uniforms? Because if they're not wearing uniforms, sure sounds like a terrorist organization.
Maybe this week I'll start telling you exactly what that terrorist organization is involved in in Syria. I'm not making, I'm not making a kissy face with Syrians. The Syrian government is brutal, awful, but we are in bed with the Muslim Brotherhood, and this is a terrorist organization.